Happy New Year. As we speak today is uh, Friday the 13th of the new year, and we just wanted to um, be in touch. We're back in Sacramento after uh, spending a few months in, totally in the district. Um, very active few months um, out in the district doing town halls, mobile district office hours, so we spent a lot of time down there. Now, of course, as the year changes, we're spending four days a week up here in Sacramento as the legislative session starts. So. Number one, of course, is the budget. Uh, the governor has released his, his budget for this coming year and actually for the next 18 months, um, and that's going to take up most of our time. Uh, and then legislatively, we're getting off. We just finished a very successful year for our office individually, sent 17 bills, uh, some really important bills, multi-year budgeting, probably the thing I'm most proud of that gets signed, that advocates have, have sought for a long time, multi-year budgeting. Um, so we got that signed. We had 14 other bills signed. So out of 17 that went to the governor's office last year, 15 got signed into law. This year, uh, we're spending a lot of time, besides the budget, as chair of the Transportation and Housing Committee and trying to secure uh, housing funds because of the, at the end of affordable housing funds of redevelopment. And on the other side, spending an enormous amount of time on trying to fix, I think, what's a flawed process with high-speed rail. We're coming to a critical point in terms of decisions of going ahead with funding this year of the bond money. Um, and I think, uh, while I'm a supporter of high-speed rail and have been for a long time, I think the way that we've been rolling out is, is not the best for California. So we need to spend those resources where they can have an immediate impact on people's lives and show people what an upgraded world-class rail system would look like in California. So we spend it where the needs are in the urban centers of Northern and Southern California. And then on the budget side, uh, as Chair of Health and Human Services, we've got real challenges. We're going to start with hearings next week. Um, we're already in discussions where the governor is suggesting we spend we we cut even more billions of dollars more in addition to the six billion dollars we cut from health and human services last year. It has a huge impact not just on poor people but middle income people and really on all of us in terms of how we provide an effective and efficient safety net for Californians, uh, because we all know that. Uh, Therefore, the grace of God, in many instances, we all could be in those shoes, and I think we all want to give a, a hand out to help people up when they get in tough positions. And of course, with the recession, a lot of us have had to suffer through that. So we're back. I'm really excited about getting back into the year after a really successful year and challenging times, and uh, we'll be in touch, as always, every couple of weeks or so, vis-a-vis uh, -vis this video blog. So thanks, and Happy New Year.